This is the new standard for SDX and Lightning. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you the new Juggernaut XL model that includes Lightning natively in Automatic 11.11. It does not require the Lightning LoRa anymore or any specific sampling method. Thank you, Valdo, for sending this to me. Follow him on Twitter. So let's look at some examples here. These results I'm showing you are not even upscaled or improved in any way. So here we have the beautiful woman with freckles on her face, the beautiful eyes. All of these details are rendered in less than four seconds on a 3080 Ti. Here we have four more versions of that same rendering. This again is done without any upscaling. In the next scene, we look at an architectural shot. Again, beautiful scenery, beautiful details here for the bed, for the light, for the scenery in the background. Here we have four more pictures. You can see that the model creates very atmospheric colors and light in a beautiful composition, which is important to get really nice results. In the next shot, we have here a Native American wandering through the streets of a modern city. Again, very beautiful details, even though the face in this image is smaller. Also look at the details on the feathers and the bokeh in the background. Here again, we have four more images of the same subject. All of them are beautiful. All of them are very coherent and again, have beautiful colors and a very artistic cinematic overall expression. In the next image, this is one of the best things I have found with this prompt for the dragon with these iridescent scales. It absolutely looks amazing and detailed. Now, this is one of the things that this model can do really good is close up portraits with high detail. Here we have four more images. Again, you can see all of them look amazing. They look like very highly detailed 3D renders with a really beautiful expressiveness. And again, I like the artistic quality of this model. Here we have a landscape scene. Again, this is not upscaled. It can have more details when you upscale it afterwards. I will show you a specific upscale to use with that. But the scenery that we have here is really amazing. Again, of course, here we have the four different images to look at comparison shots and all of them I would say are absolutely stunning. Next we have a portrait of an alien Again, beautiful, lovely details, lovely bokeh. The lighting again is very nice. The cinematic quality is really good. This is what I love about the community trained models. Again, here four more shots. All of them are beautiful in their quality. Now let's have a look at the website of Chuggernaut XL. You can of course download the model. It has 6.62 gigabytes. When you scroll down a little bit, there is an email address for the commercial licensing of this model. If you just use it for fun, you can, of course, use it, download it, have fun with that. Advice on the recommended setting for the Lightning version. This is the interesting thing here because the sampler is not a specific Lightning sampler or scheduler. This is just the sampler DPM++ SDE, which looks like a typo when you first read it, but actually this works all of the images I've shown you are created with that sampler. Four to six steps. I only used four steps. CFG scale between one and two. I used two for all of the images. And then one thing I found is that you should keep the prompt short and that you have to add some style words like 8K, masterpiece, raw photography, professional photo, cinematic light, stuff like that, because it makes the image better, which is a little bit strange because usually with SDXL, you wouldn't need them specifically, but here you require more style words to get a better result. Also, as it is pointed out here, start without a negative prompt and then add things you don't want to have in the image. And then below here, you can see for the high-res upscaling, this is suggesting to you to use the 4X NMKD CX 200K upscaler. You put that into the ESARGIN folder in the 
models folder inside of your automatic 11 11 folder and then you can use these settings here two steps denoise 0.35 and then 1.5 or even two upscale you can use that with the ultimate upscaler and get some pretty amazing results with that if you scroll a little bit lower you will also see you can use this model also with standard settings in this case here the advice is to use 30 to 40 steps and a CFG scale of three to seven. Again, as always, I would highly suggest that you click on these images and then on the right side, you see the prompt that is used, the negative prompt, the settings that are used so that you get a better feel for the model. I found this model is a little bit hard to prompt for, so you need to do some experimentation, but because of the lightning short render times, it shouldn't be a problem. Let me know in the comments what you think about this community trained lightning model. My mind is blown. I think it's absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.